What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Rogue Tuesday. Today we are overlooking the me the Metal Lucario deck. I guess just straight Lucario is fine, but when you say Lucario, people think of Lucario EX. So this is the Metal Lucario that we really haven't seen before. So let's go over it today and let's show how good of a card this is. So Lucario, but look at this Mega Alakazam. I just realized that Mega Alakazam is just back there uh, looking at Lucario like that. That's pretty creepy, but Lucario has a really cool attack, Fight Alone. It does 30 base, which is pretty low, but if you have fewer Pokemon to play than your opponent, this attack does 60 more damage for each fewer Pokemon you have in play. So let's say you have no basic Pokemon, your opponent fills their bench up with 5, you can do 330 damage, because 6 times 5 is 3, add the 0, 300, plus 30, 330 damage with Locario. Which is really, really nice. If they have three, if they have three more bench spots than you, you could do six, twelve, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. You can do two hundred ten damage if your opponent has more than three bench Pokemon than you. And uh, that's the point of the deck. We're gonna abuse this, and hopefully, we can take some games with Lucario. Now, everybody does like easily fill the bench up. Every deck plays like Shamans. They put down multiple Pokemon uh, because they're scared they're going to get donked and stuff like that. And today, we're just going to probably have Lucario on the active, Lucario on the bench, and that's probably going to be it. And we're going to try to take games this way with Lucario. So that's that's going to be a point of our deck it was, is Lucario. So we have two Jirachi with Stardust. Discard, spe discard a special energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. If you do, prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. Of course, like I've always said, this is for Night March. And playing two of these is not bad as well. Like having, you know, four Lucario, two Jirachi, you can switch between Night March. Like, let's say your opponent tries to be smart and not try, try to attach a DCE. Well, you can treat to Lucario and probably get a knockout fairly easy. Uh, so, junk, uh, Jirachi is really good with this deck. Uh, four Unknown, and the reason why I play Unknown instead of Shaman is because once you put a Shaman down, it stays there forever, but Unknown does have Feral Letter. When Unknown's owned your bitch, you may discard this card to draw a card, which is really nice, and so that's going to help us set up, and that's all we're going to play. No Shamans, very cheap deck, easy to play, and it can do very high damage. Alright, so two Love Ball. Uh, everybody can be searched out with a Love Ball. Everybody has nine. Oh, except Lucario. He has 110. Uh, but Love Ball can get you Unknowns, Jirachis, and Ryulus. Three Robo Subs, and that way if you only draw Pokemon, you can maybe put a Robo Sub down, and at any point you can discard a Robo Sub. You can also retreat into a Robo Sub turn one, so your, Rob your Riolos don't get knocked out, which can happen fairly easily. It does only have 70 HP. Alright. Two Super Rod, uh, to get back mostly your Metal Energies, but to get back your Pokemon, maybe Unknowns, Jirachis. Uh, two Super Rod's probably really good. I like to reuse it for the Metals. Like, some decks might play Bronzong to help accelerate Energy to Lucario, but then that takes up a bench space, and then you do less damage. So I think playing two Super Rod to, uh, to keep using Metals is fine. Two Switch, because as you notice, nobody has Free Retreat. This has two. Jirachi has one. Unknown has one. So you need the Switches in your deck. Two Target Whistle, and this is going to help fill your your opponent's bench back up. Um, your opponent might be smart, not fill the bench up, but they might discard Pokemon. And if this happens, you can Target Whistle back onto the bench. Four Trainer's Mill, four Ultra Ball, four Via Seeker. This is pretty common. Two Lysander. And the main kind of strategy of this deck is, like we've done for the past couple videos, is you want to, like, Target Whistle a Shaman back onto the field, Lysander up into the active spot, and take knockouts, because for the most part, your opponent's probably going to just throw away their Shamans, not put them down on the field. 3 in, 4 Sycamore, 7 Supporter Cards, 4, four via Seeker, 4 Trainers Mall, and 4 Unknown is our draw support. Kind of low, but hey, I believe in us. Uh, 2 Reverse Valley, you could cut these down, but sometimes Bumpin' Stadiums does help you out a lot, and it does what makes you hit for, uh, makes them hit for 10 less damage, which is pretty nice. 3 EXP Share, and this is how we're going to cycle energies. A lot of decks um, don't play Megaphone now, or they play Zerosic, but not Megaphone. So what you can do... Is you have a Lucario in the act spot, maybe another Lucario on the bench, you EXP share one of these, and when the Lucario is knocked out, one of those metal energies gets attached from your active to the bench. If you have two EXP share, those two metals get attached to both of those Pokemon, which is really nice as well. And this is how we're going to keep our energies out in play and make it where we keep constantly attacking, which is really nice, and nine metal energy. And there's Lucario. It's a pretty simple strategy, but it's also a deadly strategy. It is sometimes hard to set it because we don't play Shaman, and Shaman is such a good card. That every deck has to play it. But today we're going to try not to play it. We're going to see what happens. But hopefully you enjoy this deck list. Like I said, it's, it's fairly simple. It's easy to understand. Your opponent fills your bench up. You have two Lucarios out. And you win games that way. But hopefully you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. And let's see the deck in action.
Alright, pretty good. Rafikula playing a water psychic fighting and a colors deck. Waiting to load. It will call hands like always. And we won the coin flip, so we'll be going first. And yes, I would love to go first on to our turn. Let's see what happens. Okay, we got a mulligan. We did have a robo sub, but we can't start robo sub because. Uh, cause you know, Robo Sub's not a Pokemon, so uh, let's try again, press done, and let's see what our new cards are going to be. Gonna draw seven new cards. Alright, so uh, not the best of hand, I'm not gonna lie to you. If we top deck a Love Ball, we'll be okay. Hopefully we top deck a Love Ball or train as well to get a Love Ball, and there's a, another Metal Energy. Alright, so uh, hmm, I'm not sure what we're playing against. Um, so I'm gonna Metal Energy the active. Put down a Robo Sub, and I'm just going to. No, let's just Sycamore. We'll just Sycamore discard our hand. We do play two Super Rods, so the second Super Rod might be coming handy. There's a Riolu. We'll put that down. And let's see. We could Trainer's Mill. Let's just end our turn right now. Okay, so onto my opponent's turn. Let's see what happens. I'm going to draw a card. And I mean, next turn, if we get down to the Cario, maybe an Energy. There's a Dimension Valley coming down. If they somehow, if they're playing Night March and I just don't realize it, I'll be very upset because we probably should have trained as well to get a EXP share on that Ryulu. But we'll see what happens. Dimension Valley comes down. Ultra Ball discarding a Switch and another Dimension Valley. So down two Dimension Valleys when we have a Reverse Valley sitting right here. There's a, oh, it's a Trevenant attack. Okay. All right, so Trevenant versus Lucario. All right, so Flowstone going down onto the Rim Raid. There's a Muscle Bank going into the Phantom. Uh, metal, <laughs> Psychic Energy, and this is going to be fairly difficult. My opponent will use Ascension to get out a Trevenant this turn. Alright, so Trevenant coming online and making it where we cannot attack. We can't play any of my item cards, sorry. Alright, so uh, they're going to go that. On to our turn, what do we get? There's a Lysander, okay. Now we get Lysander with this Rim Raid, but our hand is not really the best. Um... We could Lysander though to guaranteed maybe, let's just Lysander to see what happens. So we'll Lysander bring the room right up. We will Trainer's Mill. Going to grab us. no we'll keep the Sycamore in the deck. We'll Trainer's Mill again. Was this a fail thing to do? It looks like it actually was. Okay. So we'll grab a Switch. And we're going to Switch into the Robo Sub. And just give the opponent size to Tree Slam. We'll put down the other re uh, the Robo Sub. Uh, switch into the Robo Sub. Put down the Reverse Valley, and we'll see what my opponent has. They didn't play anything last turn, so press done, and that's why I didn't want to play the end straight away. Uh, so in our turn, almost my opponent's turn, let's see what's going to happen. Now, the only bad thing is right now their bench is just one Trevenant, and uh, we don't do any damage for one one Trevenant being down. So Trevenant comes back up to the active spot. There's a Wally for the break, but the question... Oh, they're actually going to get Octillery. That seems like a better play, and they're going to Bissell Hand draw the five cards in their hand. Alright, so the question is, will they put down more Pokemon or not? That is the big deal, because if they don't put another Pokemon down, how do we take knockouts and pass on to our turn? Alright, so I'm going to Sycamore, discard my hand, draw seven new cards. Alright, so we get an unknown. We could Feral Light to draw a card. We could use Dream Dance, uh, do 10 damage, or 20 damage. I'm putting Metal Energy on this guy. Uh, Robo Sub, discard it. Send up the Jirachi. And I think I want to use Stardust just to hit for 10 damage. Yeah, that seems fine. We'll, we'll Stardust for 10. And what we can do next turn if they evolve into the break is we could use Dream Dance to put both uh, Pokemon to sleep. I think that might be the best play. I'm not 100% sure. But let's see what opponent decides to do. Uh, do they find a Trevenant break? They have. Uh, last turn I did was Wally. That was pretty much it. Um, I'm fine. I mean, if they use Tree Slam here, I actually be okay. I mean, we, we probably still would be okay, but at least we can do some damage to the Trevenant. And just wonder if my opponent knows what Lucario does. We do have one discard, so they can't read it. There's a Wally. Gonna get a Trevenant Breakout, but do they have an energy or not is the big deal. And will they put a Mystery Energy on? Nope, just a pass. Okay. Alright, so we get double Unknown. We'll put down Unknown. Put down the other Unknown. We'll use Feral Letter to discard it. Draw a card. There is a Ultra Ball, which we can't play. Let's try Feral Letter again. I'm looking for a Lucario, obviously. And let's see, what do we get? And there is a Love Ball. Okay. So let's Metal Energy the active. And let's start using Dream Dance. That's probably our best op. Uh, do 20, put both to sleep. And Tails and Head. So they wake up and we stay asleep. 
Alright, so my opponent's turn, they draw a card, but does my opponent finally do something? They have not played anything really, and there's an in. Gonna put both of us at six new cards. Obviously, I had an in, but I opted not to play it, because I wanted to keep the in in my hand. Uh, but let's see, there's a Metal Energy and a Lucario, but my opponent has to put down more Pokemon. There's a Metal Energy to the active, and there's a Love Ball. Gonna get a Phantom out. Okay, so Phantom will come down onto the field. And will my opponent put down more Pokemon or not? That is the big question. There's a Muscle Man going to the Phantom. Okay. And we will see a... Uh, looks like we might see a Silent Fear doing 30 everywhere. Going to draw Sprite. Going to draw some off of the Abyssal Hand. Dimension Valley coming down. And we could see a Tree Slam. Now my opponent... Oh, a Shaman come down. Yes! Now we, I think we get... Let's see. How much HP does this guy have? He has 130. So if he, let's see, does he go for a tree slam or not? That is the big question. Another trainer's mail. If he goes for a tree slam, he can knock out the Drachi. We can discard the Robo Sub and take a knockout. So let's see what happens. Uh, there's another Love Ball. So we're going to see another Phantom coming down. All right. So we are looking great right now. All right. So uh, let's see. Phantom coming down. We are. The only bad thing is. Oh, no resistance to Psychic. Never mind. We're good. We're good. We're good. And there's a tree slam. So he is going to take the knockout. Do it 60 20 20. All right, so let's go Ryulu, and let's take a knockout this turn. Go Ryulu. Oh, to our turn. Give me a, uh, another Ryulu. Okay, that's not what we needed. I'll put down Lucario. We'll put a Metal Energy to the active. Fight alone will do. Let's see. So 6, 12, 18, uh, 2, 10. So yeah, we're going to fight alone for 2, 10. Unless I did the math wrong. And uh, nope, there's 210 damage. Going to come down to knock out that Tremnant. All right, so go down to 5 price cards. We get a real yes, that's exactly what we needed. Alright, so here goes another a Phantom onto my opponent's turn. Gonna draw a card. And unless they evolve in Wally, I mean I think we can still knock them out if they evolve in Wally. 3, 6, uh, maybe not. Psychic energy, okay. There's a VS Seeker for the Wally, I imagine. Okay, yeah, they're gonna grab a Wally. Okay. They're gonna get Wally out. They're gonna uh silent fear do 30 everywhere. They'll take a knock on this guy. 3, 6. Abyssal Hand drawn, okay. Hmm. Three, okay, what we can do is we can take a knockout on this guy this turn, and he's not threatening a knockout on the other Trevenants. There's a Super Rod, gonna shuffle some cards back into his deck, okay. Yeah, I think he's gonna use uh, Silent Fear Dude 30 to both knock out the Robo Sub, and then we can use Tree Slam for the, uh, or Fight Alone for the knockout. So it's 30 30, gonna knock out the Robo Sub, but he doesn't take any prize cards. On to our turn, we get a Sycamore, which we're gonna hold on to right now. Let's use Fight Alone for the knockout. 6, 12, 18, 19, 20, 21. All right. So there's a knockout on this guy. Can they keep the chain of using the Wally? If they don't Wally this turn, we could put down the Riolo and be okay. Here comes the Phantom. Um, He's played two Wally and one VS Seeker. Okay. But if he... If he does, man... Yeah, but it's gonna be kind. Of, it's gonna be kind of difficult. Here goes Phantom. All right, on to opponent's turn. Do they have a VS Seeker for another Wally? Or they, no, they need Trevenants and another Wally in their hand. They need both of these uh, to keep the chain going. If they don't, we can take a knockout on this guy. So here goes the Energy City Active. Okay. There's a VS Seeker for a Wally, but I'm okay. I'm okay with him using Wally here because he still he can't attack us now. He's gonna evolve into the Trevenant. Okay. He is going to Abyssal Hand probably draw in two. Yep, it's going to Abyssal Hand draw two. One, two. And he can't attack us this turn, which is great. Does he get another Phantom down or not? That's a big question. No, he does not. Pass on to our turn. We'll use Fight Alone. That'll do 6, 12, 13, 14, 15. We'll take a knockout on that Trevenant. And we'll go down to three Price Guards. There we go. And now opponent does not have another Pokemon out. And what we could do is put down a Ryulu. Maybe target whistle somebody out. Lysander it up. Oh, man. It is looking good. And there's a victory screen coming down. We did take down the Trevenant deck. I didn't think we were actually going to be able to do this because we can't play our item cards. But it looks like Lucario is too strong for the Trevenant deck. It was just too hard for my opponent to keep the cycle of getting Trevenant and a <laughs> Wally to the Trevenant break. That is pretty amazing. So there we go. I thought he had a fighting Pokemon indicated in his little thing when we first started. Maybe I'm crazy, but we'll see one more game with the deck here in a second, and we'll see what happens on the next game. Alright, bring us Peanut, 1996, playing a Water, Dragon, Grass, and a Dark deck. I'm not sure what this combo is, but we'll call heads like always, and we won the coin flip. So yes, I would love to go first, and on to our turn. Let's see what's going to happen. 
All right, so opponent has no base Pokemon. We start with unknown, which is not one of our preferred starters, but it'll be okay. We see fairies. Uh, okay, fairy and DCE. So comes some kind of fairy deck for sure, uh, which is great because fairy Pokemon are weak to steel, as we saw yesterday. And uh, yes, we'll draw for the Mulligan. Okay, a target whistle. And a Golark. Oh my goodness, what are we playing? Is this a? This must be Rainbow Road Golark. Oh my goodness, this is going to be so much fun. But let's Ultra Ball. We'll discard in. And I get. I kind of want to discard Jirachi. We'll discard Jirachi. That seems okay. We will grab a Riolu. Come on down, Riolu. Let's put Riolu down. Let's attach a Steel Energy. Let's use Train as well. Looking for a Love Ball, and we got a Love Ball, so we can get two Riolos down, which is great. Uh, that's what all like what you really just want to get down is just two Riolos. Uh, so grab a Riolu. And the question is, do we via Seeker for in, or we just pass? I think I'm fine with just passing right now. So yeah, we'll pass on to my opponent's turn. No real threat of us getting knocked out. Now the question is. Does my opponent feel their bench up, or do they try to power up the goal like by putting a bunch of Pokemon down on the field? All right, so let's see what what does he decide to do. Does my opponent know what Lucario does is the real question. Oh, buddy, but let's see what does my opponent decide to do. Um, let's see. So go lurk. I think it matters like how many different type of bench Pokemon you have down. If I remember correctly, I think I might be wrong though. Uh, I know I saw Fairy, and I saw DCE, and I saw, you know, it definitely is a Rainbow Road deck uh, by using Golurk. Golurk has two different types, Psychic and um, Psychic and Fighting, if I remember correctly, when it's out in play. So that counts as two different types. Xerneas counts as another one. And this is Zora, so it looks like they might play Zorark, okay? So Zora coming down. And this is going to be an interesting matchup for sure. There's a flow stone going down to Zora to give it for your treat. And end, going to put both of us at six new cards. It's interesting they didn't play Brigetti Spaghetti. But we'll get a new hand of six. Okay, so we get a Lucario via Seeker. Uh, there's a fair to the active. And we cannot actually knock out this Golet. Okay, so fairy energy comes down. Okay, we'll put down Lucario. I think our plan is to hit it for 50. Uh, let's unknown, let's, uh, barrel letter to draw a card. We're looking for a switch. All right, another unknown, I guess. We'll put down unknown, and we'll unknown for another unknown. Okay, come on, switch, come to me. And there's a metal energy. I guess we can metal retreat and use vacuum wave. Uh, we'll retreat to this guy. Use it again to discard it. And I guess we could try to look for a, uh, what is it? An EXP share, so let's Trainer's Mel, looking for an EXP share. It looks like we did not get any of those, so we'll press Done. And we will via Seeker for an N. I think that's the best route to go. I'm not sure if Golurk can knock us out immediately. I'm not really sure what its attack does. I think it does 120. Um, If I remember correctly, but there's a EXP share, which is great. Uh, we just don't have a good hand for the following turn. But we'll put an EXP share on the Riolu, and we will Vacuum Wave. Or 50 damage. If my opponent does not evolve this guy, we can knock it out. And 50 damage going to that Golurk. Alright, Golette. Sorry. So my opponent draws a card. And let's see what they decide to do. Now, okay, there's a, a, a Xerneas coming down. Uh, EXP share going up to the Xerneas. Okay. Uh, let's see what else. If they don't evolve this guy, we can vacuum wave. Um, there's a VS Seeker for an in. All right, both of us are going to get six new cards. They cannot want to find a Golurk and a DCE. That's the two cards they need. They have not discarded the DCE just yet. And, okay. All right, so we got, a, we got an okay hand. Um, just depends if they knock us out. No, they don't get anything. All right, so we get a Sycamore, okay? So I think what we do now is put down the other Riolu. And just play an N. Yeah, that seems fine. We'll play an N. Uh, I guess we could have put down Robo Sub and just pot and just discard it later. Uh, there's a Metal Energy. So what we can do is we can put down Lucario. We're taking a knockout Garlas. So we'll put down Lucario. We'll Metal Energy the other one, and we will Vacuum Wave for 50. Let's put down Robo Sub. That seems fine. And we'll Vacuum Wave for 50. Take a knockout. Okay. So go down to five prize cards, and the Xerneas will get the Fairy Energy. That's for sure. But now the thing is, remember, the Xerneas is weak to steel, so we can easily knock it out. Uh, three, six, nine, ten. Zora, Zora cannot knock us out either. There's a Trainer's one coming in our hand, and here comes Xerneas. Now, if they do get a rain, they 
And Rainbow Force only does 40 right now. They need to fill their bench up with more Pokemon. That's the main thing here. They can't really knock us out. They need more Pokemon down to actually activate the Rainbow Road. There's a Celebi coming down. Oh, my favorite Pokemon, Celebi. Thank you for coming down onto the field. And, uh... There's a Super Rod, going to shuffle back in three combinations of any Pokemon and Energies. I imagine we'll see Golet and a Fairy, because that's all they have in there. And let's see, can they find a DC or not? There's an Ultra Ball, going to discard a Zora and a Lysander. Probably going to have the Golet, I imagine. Maybe a Shaman. Shaman could be very useful to draw some cards, but if they drop a Shaman, that is too easy prize cards for us. The opponent will have to watch out for that. Uh, how many metal? We have one metal, uh, three unknowns. There's a Xerneas going to their hand, okay. Xerneas coming down, and we'll see a Skyfield come online as well. So, there's VS Seeker for a N. Okay, so my opponent is playing, my opponent has not played a, a, a Sycamore yet, which is very bad. But we get in, we get six new cards in our hand. Can we find another Steel Energy? And there is a Steel Energy, which is fantastic. Okay, so you see a Love Ball, gonna get another Pokemon down. There's a Rim Raid coming online. Did my opponent find a DCE though? That is the question. Okay, there's a Fair Energy deck. It looks like they whiffed this DCE, which is not gonna be good for my opponents. And they can't, no, they can't retreat actually, because they have no fairy garden. Just a pass on to our turn. All right, so unfortunately, I got a metal energy in our hand. Uh, let's see, we can pop the Robo Sub, and we could do three, six, seven, uh, no, six, twelve, thirty, forty, fifteen. We'll do three hundred damage. We probably didn't even need to discard that Robo Sub, but hey, whatever. Uh, yeah, we'll do three hundred damage to the Xerneas, unless I did the math wrong, and I did not. Okay. So I guess we really didn't have to discard that Robo Sub, but whatever. There's a Sycamore coming to our hand. Almost my opponent's turn. They send up the Xerneas, and it's not looking good for my opponent. Like Rainbow Force, they have to fill the bench up to attack. There's another Xerneas coming down. Love Ball probably getting an Octillery out in play. Uh, Zork does not really matter. The max Zork can do is 3, 6, 7, which is not a knockout. There's an Octillery coming down. And let's see. There's a Sacred Ash. Going to shuffle that Xerneas back into their deck. Oh, Xerneas and Zora. Sorry. And there's an Abyssal Hand drawn three cards. Can they find another VS Seeker for an N? That is the, or N just in general. There's a DCE, okay. So they will take a knockout this turn. There's a VS Seeker, probably grabbing the N. Gonna put us down to four cards. But if we find another Metal Energy, we can take a knockout this turn. Uh, we really haven't played that many. Like two, three, uh, four. Yes. Yeah. So there is Train as well, VS Seeker, Super Rod, okay. Uh, there's a Rainbow Force for the knockout. Do it 130. A Metal Energy will be transferred to this uh, Lucario. We'll set up our Lucario. Alrighty, go, go, Lucario. And on to our turn. Let's see what's going to happen. Now, my opponent didn't get down a Flowstone, which is kind of bad because now, if we knock out the Xerneas, they're kind of in a weird position. So we're going to train as well, first of all. And we'll grab, well, we could grab a Target Whistle, uh, put another Pokemon. I don't think there's any, any Pokemon to put down, though. No Pokemon to put down. Okay. Uh, we'll grab the Reverse Valley just to bump the Skyfield. Sure. I'll grab the Reverse Valley. Put that down. Turn it this way. Press done. We will put down the Robo Sub so that way we don't draw back into it. We'll use Super Rod. And for the main part, we're going to shuffle the Metal Energies back into our deck. We'll get one, uh, two, and then I guess the Riolo should be fine. Uh, yep, that seems okay. Because, like I said, if we hit this metal energy, my opponent cannot knock us out next turn because they don't have anything to retaliate with. So, let's grab an in. Once again, we haven't played any more Sycamores either. But let's see, can we find this metal energy or not? We're going to end, put my opponent down to five, and there is some metal energy. So, this is not going to be good for my opponent because they can't knock us out the following turn. So, we'll put a metal energy on this guy. We will discard the Robo Sub, and we'll do 6, 12, 18, 19. 380 damage if I did the math right and we'll fight alone for the knockouts doing 380 if I did it correctly and oh 420 wow all right now I don't know what mechanic I did 6 12 18 nine. what uh 6 12 18 19 I don't know how we did 420 because that means we did 220 Oh, 6, 12, 18, 19, 20, 20. Okay, well, that's right. That's right. Okay, never mind. There's an Ultra Ball discarding Shaman and a Rim Raid. Ooh, Shabay being discarded. That could be our last two prize cards. Now, Celebi being the act spot has the ability to leak through time. When this Pokemon is knocked out, 
Blow up a coin if heads, shuffle this Pokemon and all cards attached into in your deck, and your opponent cannot take any prize cards, which could be very bad for us. We see a DC going down at this land, drawn up to five, okay. And there's an Azor coming down, okay. And let's see what else does our opponent have. Now we talked like a Lysander, that would be amazing. Because what we'll actually do if we Oh, he actually filled his bench up, so we can't get uh, we can't get down to Shaman. So is he Sycamore going to discard the hand, draw 70 cards. Will we see another Skyfield or not? Is the real question. If we talk like a Lysander, we don't. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna put down the Ryulu. Because we take a knock on the Celebi regardless. We'll put a metal energy on this guy. We will Sycamore discard our hand, draw seven new cards. It's going to come down to a coin flip for this knockout. Wait for it. Hold on. Hold on a second. Hold on. Are we good? Are we good? I don't see. Hold on. Wait for it. Okay, there we go. There we go. Sorry about that. I apologize. But let's go for this fight alone and let's see what's going to happen. We'll fight alone and do does he flip heads or tails? And Toots and Tell. So we will take a knockout this turn. Take him to Price Guard. There we go. Get in the Reverse Valley. All right. So I imagine we'll see Xerneas come up to the active spot. Okay. Almost to my opponent's turn. If they don't fill this bench spot up, this bench spot up, we're definitely going to put a shame in there. There's a fair energy to the active. And will we see another, uh, another EXP share come down? That is the main question. All right. How many Lucarios are in a discard pile? There's just one. Okay. Alrighty, so there's a Skyla, okay. And let's see what our opponent decides to get out. Uh, probably EXP share, that's probably the best thing to get out. Yep, there's an EXP share so they can continue the stream of the Xerneases. How many DCs are they down? They are down one, two, and there's a Xerneas coming down. No, we can't put a shame in there. And there's a Rainbow Force for the knockout, doing 120 damage. Okay. Alright, so things are going to be kind of interesting now. Okay, so let's see. One target whistle is down. One, the other one's in our hand. Let's send up this Rielo. And can we top deck a Metal Energy? That is the real question. Come on, Metal and an EXP share. Okay. Open the EXP share on this guy. We will Super Rod to shuffle back in. Two Metals and a Lucario. We should have plenty of Lucarios left, so we'll grab those two. We... Hold on, hold on, sorry, sorry again, I apologize, my, okay, there we go, there we go, sorry. High encoding CPU, I know, I know, I know, I'm sorry. Uh, let's grab a love ball. Let's grab a unknown, okay, we have six medals in here, we have three Lucario, so we should be okay to hit this, hopefully we'll be able to hit it. I uh, will Ultra Ball, discard a Via Seeker, and a Reverse Valley, okay, with this, we're gonna grab a Lucario. Alrighty, we have two Lysander, one Ryulu, okay, so we'll grab Lucario, we will put down Lucario on the active, man, do we even have Lysander this card pile? We don't, okay, so we'll put down Unknown, we will Barrel Letter, we're looking for a Metal Energy right here, do we hit it or not, and there's a Lysander, okay. I uh, guess we'll just via Seeker for Sycamore. We have to hit a we have to hit a metal this turn uh, to take a knockout. So let's grab Sycamore. Let's play it. Come on, Metal Energy, and we got it. Perfect. All right, and we can Ultra Ball discard Sycamore and a switch. We will grab another Lucario. So things are looking great. I don't know how I'm going to win now. So we get a Lucario. Put down Lucario. We'll put the EXP share on the active as well. Uh, so that way, we, if my opponent does end us down to one, we have, we have, you know, we, we should be okay. We'll fight alone for the knockout. Oh, we're going to do a ton of damage, aren't we? Yep, there's 540. Okay. Okay. All right. I, I didn't even notice we had two prize cards. I, I thought we had three for some reason. So we'll take another prize card. Going down to one. There's a metal energy. We have so many metals left in our deck. My opponent has to megaphone and playing in this turn. There's a DC to the active, okay. And do they have anything else or not? We take a knockout regardless, depending on, doesn't matter who they send up. If they knock us out, we can use up the other Lucario. They need a Megaphone and an in this turn. Do they have both of those or not? There's a Via Seeker. They are going to probably grab an in, okay. The question is, do they have a Megaphone? We're going to get in down to one. Let's see, what is that one card in our hand? And there's a Sycamore. That's a pretty good top deck. But we're going to see Rainbow Force 
Abyssal Hand drawn one. Do they have the megaphone or not? That is the question. And uh, it does not seem like it. And there's a Rainbow Force for the knockout. The EXP share will get the metal energy. We'll press the, the metal energy. Put it on Lucario. And we'll take a knockout this turn. And there we go. There is Lucario taking the win against the Xerneas deck. I don't even think, like, it doesn't really matter. It will hit for weakness or not. There's another. Oh my goodness. That's such a good. That's like perfect two cards. But let's fight alone for the knockout. We'll do another 540 if I remember correctly. Yep. All right. There we go. And there's Lucario taking away. And like I said, it didn't really matter if it's a or not. We take that regardless. Oh my goodness. My computer is freezing. I, I apologize for this. I guess I need to restart it and let it cool down for a second. But there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Rogue Tuesday. You saw the power of Lucario. We took down a Trenton deck and we took down a Rainbow Road Gorlurk deck. Oh my goodness. Too bad we didn't see Gorlurk and show off his true power. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great Tuesday. Let's see my opponent's deck real quick. I'll show you this. Oh, he plays Drudagon as well. Oh my goodness, this is really cool looking. Uh, Golurk, not Golurk. Golurk, we know what you do. But Golurk makes it a fighting and a psychic attack, which is really nice. He has water. He has colors. He has the Celebi. The Celebi telescope is like what kind of saved us. I mean, we had a sick more regardless. We could have maybe got another uh, Riolu down. Maybe off to Lucario. Like we would have discarded our hand. Had, what, seven cards left? No. Five cards left, and we missed a little reload. That would be really bad. But there we go. We the coin flip went away. They have they have a Dadini as well. So there you go. Hopefully, during this episode of Rogue Tuesday, Lucario was a lot of fun. But hopefully, during this deck, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great Tuesday. Twenty five more tokens already. Bye. All right, guys. Just want to give a quick shout out to our two sponsors, Sixty Cards and Yeti Gaming. The links are down below to their websites. Make sure you go check them out already.